Nigeria will crush Boko Haram terrorists, Buhari tells world leaders at the UN Assembly. President Mamadou Buhari has said Nigeria will spare no effort at getting rid of the Boko Haram terrorists, especially in the northeast part of the country. He stated this on Thursday while addressing world leaders at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. He said terrorism continues to dominate security discourse worldwide in Nigeria, Boko Haram terrorist group, though fra fragment fragmented by internal strife and weakened by our defense force, is still active and preying on soft targets. Nigeria will continue to work closely with the UN counter-terrorism bodies and entities. With a view to bringing this scourge to an end, Nigeria has spared no effort in addressing the challenges of terrorism posed by the activities of Boko Haram in northeast Nigeria and the Lake Chad region, as well as banditry in the northwest and north central Nigeria, the Nigerian security force have recorded considerable success in the fight against terrorism as a result of the renewed vig vigor of our military. Many terrorist fighters are voluntarily surrendering to our security force. I and three other Nigerian heads of state serve actively as peacekeepers and Nigeria continue to support peacekeeping efforts. We know the sacrifice involved. We also know how important peacekeeping is for those in vulnerable situations. Nigeria will continue to play its part fully in supporting United Nations peacekeeping operations within Africa and beyond. This is coming a few days after the insurgent killed over 25 soldiers who were on patrol in Moguno, area of Borno State. Boko Haram and its offshoot, Islamic State's West African province, have killed thousands and displaced millions in northeastern Nigeria. The Nigerian military has repeatedly claimed that the insurgency had been legally defeated and frequently underplays any losses. In the past months, soldiers have been targeted by the insurgents. Over 300 soldiers and officers have been reportedly killed since January 2021. At least 33 soldiers were killed early in the year when two vehicles loaded with explosives rammed into a military convoy in Wugo. The suicide bombers were identified as Abubakar al Siddiq and Bana. Judula. The group also claimed four military vehicles were destroyed. In February, about 20 soldiers were also killed in Malari, Borno State, by the insurgents. Sarah reporters gathered that the soldiers were on patrol to clear some Boko Haram elements in the area following a credible intelligence when they were ambushed by the group. Hmm. Okay, oh, and now they are here telling us that everything is under check. And they will crush the Boko Haram's insurgents. I can see how Buhari is indeed crushing Mr. Crusher. We can see how you can crush everything. Just you are crushing innocent agitators in the south and in the southeast of Nigeria. We can see how you are indeed crushing everything. Mr. Crusher, you can crush as much as you want. But don't forget that when you finish crushing everything, your head will be crushed one day as well. This is unfortunate for Nigeria, an old man like Buhari still lying at his age. Hmm. At a stage of his life, instead of asking God for forgiveness for all offense he has committed, unfortunate for him, even the whole world you are addressing know the truth. On every event in Nigeria, this is great leadership error in Nigeria at hand now. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, Nigeria will crush Boko Haram when? Super stories. Okay, go and rest. <laughs> okay, you will go and be making mouth, then come back and be sounding helpless. I don't understand this man at all. You created them now, has grown your power of controlling them. Hmm. Another rhetoric from a directless leader. Okay, for good six years, you have been crushing them with pandemic rehabilitation and empowerment. Okay, 
after how many years of fighting the insurgent despite promises to end insurgency and six months of getting to office <laughs> well boko haram that the politician are sponsoring can a body fight itself and succeed this man is a joker fake max vera okay <laughs> The one told us that they have technically defeated, defeated Boko Haram. So now it's time for Boko Haram. That's good. Minister of Information are here. Okay, why pause? NG no list. Buhari as contestant for Comedian of the Year award still marvel me. Hmm. Well, someone laughed to that though. All these world leaders serve. They suppose ask Buhari since when he has been saying this. Remember the said name in the last hunger, okay? How many will you crush? Hmm. Well, you you once claimed to have degraded and boasted that they have been technically defeated, okay? Bring us the names of Boko Haram sponsors. Let's start from there. Hmm. Okay, which Boko Haram does he wants to crush? Is it the one he said an attack on Boko Haram is not? Is an attack on the north. Okay. Uh -huh. Hey, when he travels out to he speak of crushing Boko Haram when he is here in Nigeria, he empowers them with cash or in the name of repentance. Hmm. Buhari, you are doomed because so many people know what you're doing, they know your game plan, they know your boss. So just imagine what the UN knows that are keeping quiet about. Hmm. He wants to blindfold the world leaders. So they won't come to assist in pulling up a real fight against the Boko Haram terrorists. There is no intervention or no intention whatsoever by this government to fight Boko Haram. They together glow in their agenda. Always and always will, even if by then all have perished. These cops will rise up and crush Boko Haram. I don't want to laugh, Mr. President said well, but he mustn't forget that what he sees may not matter what much world leaders use diplomatic reasoning to dispatch out the president's intent okay hmm. fake promises who did this to nigeria leader hmm. nigerian's leader you can ask so every day they keep on deceiving themselves thinking that they are deceiving the world leaders they are wiser than they are okay you have said that over four years now are still no change stop deceiving yourself People are killed every day and it's so sad and even that it didn't melt your heart. You are pulling up debt sky. May God have mercy on you leaders. And God, we ask you people are uh, hungry, no jobs. You go to the farm, you are killed. Hmm. Well, I don't understand what you're saying, but your English is really, really work. But I understand perfectly what you're trying to imply. What you're trying to say is this, that people... Are People can go to farm, people are hungry, and, bore, and they are here telling us that they are going to do everything to ravage the situation in the states. Why things are getting worse on a daily basis. Hmm. Well, only God will save us from this dehuman Buhari. You can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.